We're about to visit the dark web, and we're about to regret it. My name is Ryan Montgomery, also known as Zero Day. I'm known for cybersecurity and stuff relating to child safety. Here is uh, your address. This this could be a phone number. I'm not sure. That's his phone number, bro. Yep. bro. That's his f cell phone number. This, this is my this is my whole life. I don't know any I don't know anything different. I don't remember not being on a computer. The initial motivation to help children was getting a text message from my friend's wife that had these horrible screenshots. And there was a forum post that, I got three different screenshots, but one of them specifically that still sticks in my head. There was way worse ones than this, but this one sticks in my head because it was my initial. The title of the post was, they have no idea what is, I'm sorry, geez, I'm, I, I'm messing this up. It was a father that had his child in the bathtub and the, the title was, they have no idea what's going to happen to them tonight. And underneath of that were people that were on this forum as well, these other weirdos. And they were talking about what they were going to do to this guy's child. I left where I was at, literally left my friend's house, and I went home with a goal in mind to do whatever it took to take this website down. I didn't care if it was a denial of service attack, which is a really easy, stupid attack to do, but at least it'll take the server down. Luckily, I was able to exfiltrate all of the users with all of their personally identifiable information. You know, it took, it, like, as you know, it took three years for anything to happen, but now things are happening, people are being confronted. If you're on that list and you know you're on that list, you, you should be scared. I, I, I don't have any comforting words for you. You don't deserve them. That, that was my first, um, that was my first glimpse into this sick world. I have some things that we could do. I found some satanic orgy sh that we found some weird stuff. <laughs> nice. I'm going to teach you how to how to get tour, connect to tour, and then how to search the dark web for things that you want to find. I, it, it appears to be a Firefox browser with a couple tweaks. Yeah. But you see that big purple connect button there? Uh -huh. You want to hit that connect button? This is a search engine for the for the dark web. Well, let's just start off by typing something simple like, uh, let's just do drugs. Oh my god, this feels illegal. Well, as soon as this browser's closed, everything that you did on here is erased. Yeah, like you said, it's not inherently wrong to be on the dark web, but you can see why bad people would flock to this. There's documents, which I'm assuming is fake, fake IDs, passports, uh, credit cards, I'm sure plenty of, plenty of documents. They got drugs, electronics, financial documents, uh, or financial services. Guns, I'm assuming hacking for hire, which that's debatable whether that's real or not real. I haven't heard of anybody doing that type of stuff. Like uh, even in, in the worst times of my life, I, I haven't really heard of that. But uh, a lot of these sites say that they offer it. So I can't speak for what I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty confident that that's a scam. Mm. Don't you have to put a shipping address in? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you do. So how that works is there's a thing called uh, a PGP key. And a lot of these sellers, so like, let's say, let's click on uh, click on one of these, uh, anyone, doesn't matter. Well, that one, look at that one, there's poisons there, yeah. which is, they got some Ricin? pretty- That's from Breaking Bad, bro. <laughs> yeah, and sc scopolamine, that's the uh, dragon's breath, the stuff that makes you forget what you do and tell, and whatever someone tells you to do, they, you do it. This says, uh, you know, crystals or, you know, so MDMA crystals. And it says nine customers are viewing this product. And at the top, it said there was 13 people that left reviews, reviews on yes. this product. Customer review. But when you click these reviews. <laughs> wow. It, it took almost 10 days to arrive. You Quality. see at the bottom there, you must be logged in to post the review. So a, a lot of these drug marketplaces require you to either have an account um, and go through a process or if you're a vendor somebody that's selling drugs a lot of them make you pay so they'll say like hey pay a thousand dollars in whatever cryptocurrency and you can start selling on our platform whereas this one i've never heard of personally so i can't say whether it's credible or not credible i'm not not a big fan of buying drugs online or doing drugs in general but uh but if you're gonna do it you know this is this is what people are doing nowadays. Wizard LSD. Another thing too here is you see at the top right, so not only is it in stock, but it says escrow to the right there. Uh -huh. There if you're a new seller on the platform, like I said, any of us here, we could go we could go get some cryptocurrency at a Bitcoin ATM for example and go make a, a vendor account on one of these drug marketplaces and we could say that we have whatever we want, but are we going to actually send it when someone sends the money? So they, a lot of these, if not all of them, have what's called an escrow service. It's a, it means that somebody is holding the money until the transaction is finalized and both sides are happy. So 
um, when you become a trusted vendor on these platforms, do they do something uh, called FE, which is short for finalize early. Because at any moment, the feds could knock this, this poor Amazon down. They could knock the door down and arrest the owner of the site. And all of the sellers are then out of their money because they're all held in escrow. Um, so when you're a trusted seller, the, you have the privilege with all of the positive reviews saying, hey, this person sold me the right thing, exactly what I ordered, and they'll finalize that order before they even receive it. A lot of these vendors will require you to send your personal information back and forth, even communication, uh, and use an encrypted means of doing so. So even if the, the server gets hacked, the owner gets uh, gets discovered and arrested, they may take the site down. They may be able to do whatever they want uh, on that side of things. But if they don't have the private key of the seller who is selling the drugs or whatever it may be on these marketplaces, they can't read the conversations between the customer. You know, it's a it's a layer of protection on top of the platform that they're on. They don't have to completely believe and rely on the person running the site. Going back to onions.com, it's like layer after layer after layer. Onions.com? <laughs> Onions.com. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the search bar. They can give you anything you want on the dark web. What would you search for? What about like a hitman? Yeah, hit, you can type whatever you want there. Hit yeah. What am I looking at? What am I looking at? Oh okay, my so God. this looks this looks pretty messed up and uh I was not expecting to see this. I'm sure this will be blurred. So oh for anybody that's watching, God. this is bad. This is really bad. Is that a... Yes. Yeah, that's exactly what you think it is. And they have an email address to contact them. I, I'm assuming if you want to do... I mean, if you want to pay to do something horrible to somebody. Why choose us? Oh my God! What the f yeah, I mean, it could be a scam, you know, think about it. Who's going to call the cops if they rob them? We yeah. don't ask questions. We just perform our duty and get paid. We go wherever and whenever the mission calls to fulfill our customer wishes. 100% success rate, rate and no arrests made. Oh my God. We do not operate a flat fee. Rates are discussed with our customers on a case by case. Our professional tax starts at 5,000 for low profile cases. That Can you stage you a hit as an accident? Yes, but only in certain countries. A surcharge of 40% will apply. This is insane. What payment methods are ex uh, accepted? Bitcoin. Only Bitcoin. Yeah. And then looks like there's some pretty crazy photos oh, underneath what here. what is this? Who knows if this is a real, a real service or not, but we have a lot of others to look at. So who knows? You know, it could be real. It could not be. I wouldn't take the chance, um, personally. All right. Oh. All right. Oh boy. All right. Uh, yeah. Next. Seen enough of that one. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Do not try this at home, but here's what you should do. You should download the Guardio browser extension right now by going to guard.io slash trilogy, get a discount, try it for free. It's an amazing product and it's an important tool to have to protect yourself against scams and malware. Guardio is our exclusive security partner here at Trilogy Media. And not only do they give you the best real time browsing protection that you can find anywhere online, but they will also scan the web for your personal information and let you know if any data leaks have occurred. Use our link guard.io slash trilogy. It's also the first link in the description of this video. You can scan your browser for malware right now. You can scan the web for your information and data leaks right now. It's a scary thought, but don't you want to know? Guard.io slash trilogy gets you the entire week for free. It also gets you 20% off the entire subscription price. The real-time browsing protection protects you and your family 24-7 from all kinds of online. Malware, phishing scams, spam emails. They even have a new feature now that will alert you when a spam email skips your spam folder. Guard.io slash Trilogy. Go try it right now. Plus, you can add up to five family members onto one single subscription for free. Get your entire family protected 24-7 as they browse the web and making sure you're up to speed on what information has been leaked and what passwords you need to change.